I found seven entry level remote jobs that you can actually do now in 2024. And by that, I mean, after watching this video, you can literally go and apply to the places that I tell you to apply and land some of these jobs. So definitely pay attention and watch the video to the end because I'll be walking you through exactly how to land these jobs. And if you appreciate me making this type of video, let me know by gently tapping that like button. And let's jump into it with number one on the list, which is going to be a grievance and appeals intake coordinator. And this is kind of a friendly voice that helps patients navigate the confusing world of healthcare. And basically what you're going to be doing is receiving and processing patient concerns, complaints, and appeals within healthcare systems. And in this position, you can make about forty-six to $66,000 a year. It's also a very easy position to land. It typically does not require a college degree or previous experience. And even if you do see on the job posting that they require a college degree or previous experience, usually you can just apply anyways and it won't matter. So some course or training you can take that would help lead to you landing this job would be Yale University's The Science of Wellbeing course. And you can actually take this on Coursera. You can also take a free online course from hhs.gov, which ensures that you understand HIPAA, which is very important for patient information safety. Another one you can take is the Customer Service Excellence Certification from Allison. And this is free, but it has paid options for certain types of certificates. And you can also take some free online training for dispute resolution processes from the American Bar Association. Now, some of the career paths you might go down if you were to go into this role that are even higher paying down the line would be a patient advocate. You could also become a healthcare data analyst, or you could become a healthcare compliance specialist. And some other jobs that are very similar to this one would be an insurance claims examiner, patient advocate, a customer service representative, specifically for disputes, a government assistance care worker, or an employee relations specialist. Now, the particular company that is hiring for this position right now is actually CVS Health. Now, CVS Health actually has two subsidiary companies under it, which are CVS Caremark and Aetna. Now, CVS Health likes to make sure that you get a feel for the job before you officially start. And so they do what's known as a virtual tryout for some of the positions. And they basically give you realistic job previews so you can see what the job is like and if you think it's a good fit for you. And you can go to this link right here. It's basically jobs.cvshealth.com slash virtual job tryout in order to see what jobs they offer that for. And for a grievance and appeals intake coordinator, here's what you can expect. All you really need is a high school diploma and they pay about 17 to $28 an hour, which is really, really good for an entry level job that only requires a high school diploma. And the only required qualifications are data entry skills, which pretty much everyone has. So yeah, this is pretty good. It says on glassdoor.com, this position pays about 41 to $56,000 a year. And the way you can get here is you go to jobs.cvshealth.com. You click on careers to take you to the jobs list. Then you'll be redirected to this page. From here, you can search based on job type and location. On the job title category search bar, type in grievance and appeals, then click the search button. You will immediately see a list of jobs available, including working setup, remote, hybrid, or on-site jobs. Click the grievance and appeals and take coordinator to check the job qualifications. Be sure to read the job description thoroughly so you can create a customized application letter for a better chance of getting hired. And once you've polished your resume and application letter, click the apply button found below the job title. Now, another thing you want to do is prepare a resume highlighting the following skills, right? So make sure that you show them that you have data entry skills, you're organized, you have the ability to multitask, you're detail oriented, etc. So always customize your resume based on the job description. Now, some other things you can do is volunteer in a healthcare setting in order to get some experience that'll probably help you quite a bit when it comes to landing the job. Now, here are some benefits of CVS Health employees. First of all, you get medical and prescription, but only if you work 30 plus hours per week. You also get free preventative care and annual CVS Health contributions and HSA eligible plan options. You also get a fixed indemnity plan, but this is only if you work 12 to 29 hours per week, and that's cash benefits for doctor visits, prescriptions, and more. And then of course, you get CVS pharmacy prescription discounts, since it's probably the largest pharmacy in the world, and you get savings on minute clinic services, because that's the clinic that is attached to the pharmacy. So yeah, this role has pretty good ratings online when you look on places like Glassdoor. Overall, I really like it. I'm going to go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is a customer discovery specialist. And this is going to be for the company Novi. And in this position, you're going to be able to help businesses sniff out what customers truly crave. And customer discovery specialists use research and interviews to understand a potential customer's problems and desires. And an interesting fact here is if you remember the iPhone, that wasn't something 
something that they just randomly discovered. They figured that out by interviewing customers and figuring out exactly what they want. And then they created the iPhone to meet all of those needs. And in this position, you can make about 71 to $103,000 a year. Some courses or training that would be really good for landing this job would be the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate, which is free on Coursera, the University of Washington's Interviewing Techniques course, which is free on edX. You can also take the Professional Survey Methodologist or the PSM through the AAPOR or the American Association of Public Opinion Research. And this online course teaches you to design effective surveys. And some other career paths you might go down would be a social media listening analyst, a customer success specialist, a client insight manager, and some jobs that are similar to this one would be a market research analyst, a customer success manager, a business analyst, or a UX researcher. Now the company Novi, they say that they're hiring in Q2 and Q3 of 2024. So they should be hiring for the next few months at least. And basically what they do is they tackle healthcare challenges by co-founding startups with promising ideas. And their venture studio model provides startups with a comprehensive support system where each company receives over $2 million in funding, dedicated leadership, product development assistance, and essential back office services. So in order to apply, go to their website. At the top, you can click careers. Then you wanna scroll down and you'll see open roles at Novi. Here you'll be able to browse for available jobs. Be sure to check the descriptions throughout to make sure you're applying for a fully remote one. You can click the learn more button to check the job description, and then you'll be redirected to a new tab showing the job description, responsibilities, requirements, and hiring timeframe. You should of course review this and you can send your application in two ways. First, click the apply button found at the top most right part of the screen, or input manually your details found at the bottom part of the job post. So yeah, really good one. Um, it has some really nice benefits as well. Medical, dental, vision care, 401k program, uh, generous paid time off, equity even. They also have some additional perks. You know, you have the opportunity to work with the founders. You can network with people in the tech space, including higher ups. And yeah, this one's really good. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an opportunity score of nine out of 10. Next is a social media community engagement specialist. And if you ever felt like scrolling through social media could be a job, well, there are people who actually get paid to do that. The good kind of scrolling, at least. And in this position, you basically engage with online communities, answer questions, and you promote a brand through social media interaction. And in this position, you make about fifty-three dollars to $85,000 a year. Not too shabby for a job that doesn't require a college degree or previous experience. Now, some courses or training that could help you in this job is learning basic video editing. You can honestly do this on YouTube. There's lots of uh, really great training there. Also learning basic photo editing, you can do that on Canva and copywriting. So HubSpot Academy has a course on this. You can also take free online training like the Google Analytics Academy to teach you basic social media analytics. It'll teach you also how to track key metrics like engagement rate and follower growth. You can also take social media marketing courses offered in places like Skillshare or Udemy. Now another career that's kind of similar to this and kind of another career you might go into would be a community moderator. Another one might be a social media community manager and some jobs that are similar to this would be a community manager, a digital marketing specialist, or a brand ambassador. Here's an opportunity I'll put up on the screen. You can check it out. So yeah, this one's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is a document production specialist. And this is for those people who always dreamed of being a Michelangelo of Microsoft Word, sculpting documents into masterpieces. And all joking aside, basically what you're going to do is you're going to ensure documents such as reports and presentations are polished, professional, and error free. And document production specialists make about forty-four to $66,000 a year. So some free online courses or training that you could take that would help you to do the job as well as land the job would be industry recognized certifications such as the MOS or Microsoft Office Specialist from Certiport. Also support.microsoft.com actually has some free training that you can take. You can also improve your typing speed and accuracy with free tools like Kieber or Typing Club. And you wanna aim for a minimum of 60 words per minute to meet most job requirements. You can also look into free online courses and platforms such as Coursera or edX. They have lots of different certifications and training programs that can help you. Websites like Udemy or Skillshare can also be really helpful. And some other careers that you might potentially go into at the same time or after this one would be data entry specialist, cataloging and metadata specialist, or content strategist. Some similar jobs to this one would be content management specialist, technical writer, transcriptionist, medical record specialist, or a legal assistant. 
content. So let's talk about the actual company, Eastern Research Group or ERG. They're all about helping companies do good by keeping our air and water clean, workplace safe, and food and medicine on the shelves worry-free. They even offer guidance in building eco-friendly facilities. And they've worked with a ton of very impressive clients. Now the actual job they're hiring for is of course a document production specialist. And some of the qualifications and skills that they would need here is proficiency in advanced Microsoft Word functions, which is pretty basic. Proficiency in Adobe Acrobat and PDF manipulation. Again, pretty basic. You've probably worked with PDFs before. Working knowledge of Microsoft Excel. I think everyone's used Microsoft Excel or at least Google Sheets before. Strong organization and planning skills. Excellent communication skills. Meticulous attention to detail. Highly motivated and the ability to manage and prioritize multiple tasks with limited oversight. Everybody says that, right? All, all the job descriptions say that. Willingness and the ability to learn new software and technical skills. Pretty much all the jobs say that as well. Proficiency in Microsoft Excel. They It looks like they put that twice. <laughs> okay. Uh, experiencing formatting section 508 compliant documents. That's something you'd probably have to look up a little bit, but it's you know relatively simple. And then working knowledge of reference management software, aka EndNote or Zotero. Tarot. Okay, so that's another one you'd have to look up. So basically, those last two are the only ones that I could see people tripping up on a little bit. And you could, you know, very quickly do some research on that. And in this job, you make about 21 to $28 an hour. So that's pretty good for a job that doesn't require a college degree or previous experience. So the application process here would be go to www.erg.com. Upon visiting the website, check the tabs on the top right corner of your screen. Look for jobs to check the available job posts for this company. Upon clicking the jobs button, you'll then be directed to this part of the page. From the button selections, choose join our team. You'll be directed to the jobs page where you can go ahead and explore jobs available from ERG. A little further below, you'll see explore jobs. You can choose the input keywords to get the exact job title you're going for. But to filter remote jobs, you can click the workplace type where you have the option of going for on-site, hybrid, or remote. For demonstration, I click the drop down arrow here and clicked remote. You can verify the job is fully remote when this detail appears as shown on my screen. Click the apply button next to the job title as you can see here. You'll then be directed to this page where you can check the qualifications, skills needed, rate per hour, benefits, and work culture. Once you're done browsing through this and you find it to your liking, you will find two apply for this job buttons, one near the job title and the other to the bottom of the page. You'll click it, then you will be then directed to this page where you will fill out manually the details such as your full name, email, and the likes. You'll also be asked to upload your resume and cover letter. Once you're done, you can submit your application by clicking the submit application button found at the bottom of the page, and you are good to go. So yeah, this one's really good. Uh, I do like it. So not only is this a good job opportunity, but it's a good career opportunity as well. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an opportunity score of 7.5 out of 10. Next is a care delivery telesales agent. And this is somebody who converts potential clients over the phone to long-term healthcare plans. And these professionals are sought after by insurance companies. And considering over 65 million people are currently enrolled in Medicare, that's a whole lot of potential conversations for this position to have with people. And telesales agents make about 50 to $83,000 a year. Now that is a bit lower, but with that being said, they don't require a previous experience or a college degree or anything like that. And this is a great way of getting your foot in the door. And I've always said a million times, getting a sales job is something I recommend everybody does at least one time in their lifetime because it teaches you unbelievably valuable skills. For instance, you could get a tech sales job and I've actually you know, interviewed a bunch of people on this channel where we've actually helped them get tech sales jobs and they all did it through the company Course Careers, which does have a free training, which I'll put down in the description in the pinned comment below. So if you do want to get into sales, definitely check that out. That is probably the easiest and highest paying entry level sales job to get into. Now, some other similar sales jobs would be inbound telesales representative, outbound telesales representative, account manager, customer service representatives with a sales focus, or business development representatives or BDRs. And here's a company that's hiring for this role right now, and you can apply for the roles. Here's the job description and what you'll be doing. I'll put it up on the screen really quick. So yeah, pretty good one. I'll give this one an opportunity score of nine out of 10. Next is going to be a chat room operator. So this is somebody who keeps conversations flowing smoothly by responding to customer questions and concerns using pre-written messages usually, and sometimes they actually have to think. And according to tidio.com, customers who use live chat are 513% more likely to buy. So customers really do appreciate live chat. 
Then you've got the salary, which is thirty-seven dollars to $56,000 a year. The compensation here, according to the website, is about $10 to $13 per hour. So it's not the best compensation, but this is a super, super easy job to land. You can even land a part-time job if you don't have enough time. So if you're just like a student watching this or something like that, it could be really good for you. And the company specifically that I'm gonna talk about applying for is Drips. And Drips basically offers conversation as a service. And the types of industry that Drips covers is healthcare payers, healthcare providers, providers, insurance, finance, and higher education. They did receive a top workplace honor in 2022, which is always good to see. And basically, you're there as a backup to the AI responses. So, you know, the AI gets it right like 95, 98% of the time, but, you know, that two to 5% of the time that they can't get it right, it'll automatically send that to you. And then you have context and you can actually, you know, give the customer a better response. And the way you would apply for this is go to www.drips.com, go to the official Drips webpage, scroll down to the bottom, you'll see under the company section, a careers option, you'll click on it, then you'll be directed to this page and you wanna click the open roles button to see the list of open jobs available in Drips. After that, you can click the view openings to immediately scroll past the content below, or you can manually scroll down to check out these jobs. You'll then be directed to a full disclosure of what the job requirements are and its specifics. Once you're done browsing everything, you'll find the apply button on on the side of the screen. You can send your application using an existing Indeed account or LinkedIn. However, you also have the option to apply manually. And yeah, it's that simple. Uh, this one is probably not one of the better ones on the list. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a creative marketing artist. And creative marketing artists use artistic AI tools and their marketing knowledge to design eye-catching visuals for mobile game ads and other stuff like that. And marketing artists make about 53 to $95,000 a year. Year. Now, some courses or training that you can do to add to your portfolio, build up your skill base, or put on your resume are going to be, first of all, sharpening your skills with Stable Diffusion or DALI 2. These are free online platforms that let you experiment with creating stunning visuals using AI. Then you can brush up on marketing fundamentals with free online courses on platforms such as Coursera or HubSpot Academy. You can learn about target audiences, campaign strategies, and how visuals can drive results. Then you can showcase your artistic talent, digital art, graphic design, and new found marketing knowledge by creating a captivating online portfolio using free website builders like Wix or Behance. Then you can hone your data analysis skills using free resources like Google Data Studio, and they even have tutorials on there that can help you understand how to interpret data and use it to inform your creative decisions. Then you can enroll in free online communication courses on a site like edX. Now, a career path that you might go down is becoming a creative content specialist, a marketing campaign analyst, or a freelance marketing artist. And this job is similar to game UI UX designer, 3D character artist, concept artist, environmental artist, or motion graphics artists. Now the specific company that you'd be applying to here would be G5, also known as G5 Entertainment. And this company does game publishing and development. And they have over 900 international employees. They have really good ratings as well, about a 4.4 star rating and 84% of people would recommend to a friend. So this company does keep their employees really happy. So the way you'd start here is you'd go to www.g5.com. Then you'd check the G5 Entertainment official website on the top most left portion on the screen. You'd click careers. Then you'll be directed to this page where you'll see a list of jobs available per location. For remote jobs, click the remote job option. From here, you'll be directed to specific industries. There's six options to choose from. A way to verify if the work is fully remote is to check a remote text box below the title as seen here. Since we're looking for a creative marketing artist role, let's click the marketing and PR tab. You'll immediately see this role is still available from the options here. And by the way, feel free to apply to any of the other roles. After clicking the job title, you'll be redirected to a page where the specifics of the job role is shown. Browse the requirements and qualifications so you can best prepare before submitting your application. Once done, you can click the apply button. Then you'll need to manually fill out the personal information and submit your resume. Now, the reason you're able to get into this role without any you know, college degree or previous experience is because of the fact that it does involve using AI to create the artwork. And that's something that hasn't been around very long and therefore it's almost impossible to have any career experience with it. And so they can't really ask people to have a career experience. But yeah, this company has really good ratings. A lot of people say great things about it. I'm gonna go ahead and give them an opportunity score of 7.5 out of 10. This one is probably a little harder to land than some of the other ones on the list. And that's why I rated it a little bit lower. Now, by the way, I made a video on the 11 of the highest paying certifications that you can use to land some of the best remote jobs out there. And you can check that video out by clicking right here.